بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم <تصفيق> الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد اللهم إن ثم إني أسألك حبك وحب من يحبك وحب لكل عمل بلغني حبك وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أحبت في الله from the important du'as of the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam is the du'a of Laylatul Qadr. So strive your best, although Ramadan is coming to an end and we have but perhaps a day or two left. But in these nights, these valuable nights, strive your best to be up or at least at some point and recite this dua and recite this dua even outside of these blessed nights and it's a very simple dua and we will learn it and we will learn its meaning in accordance with the ulama of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah In a hadith, an Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha qalat, Kultu, Ya Rasulullah, Araita in alamtu ayya laylatul, laylatul qadr, ma akul fiha. Qala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Kuli, اللهم إنك عفو تحب عفوا فاعف عني رواه ترمذي وقال حديث حسن الصحيح. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم was asked by Aisha رضي الله تعالى عنها the mother of the believers. She said. O Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam If you were to know which night the night of power was what should I say? Or if I were to know which night is the night of power what should I say? What should one say? The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam answered by saying Say Allahumma innaka afwun tuhibbu afwa the Prophet ﷺ responded by saying, Say, O oh Allah, you are forgiving and you love forgiveness, so forgive me. Ru'ahu Tirmidhi. And Imam Tirmidhi reported this hadith and said it was Hassan Sahih. In this hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, this hadith shows us Fadila to Ummul Mu'mineen As Saddiqa Aisha Taradi Allah Tala Anha Fi Harsaha Ala Ijtihad Fi Usual An Al Ilm Al Nafi Al Ma'thur Wittibahu Bi Amal. Beautiful benefit. This hadith, one benefit of this hadith and this dua is it illustrates the greatness of Aisha, the mother of the believers. Radiallahu ta'ala anha, the truthful. Radiallahu ta'ala anha. And her persistence <coughs> in striving by asking questions for beneficial knowledge. That is ma'thur, meaning these are 
hadith or these are narrations. These are things that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, she didn't just ask for any dua, but she wanted to know what should one say, meaning what is in accordance with the sunnah, your sunnah, Ya Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This is what she asked. She wanted to know what is the sunnah. What is the sunnah with this ilm and nafia, this beneficial knowledge, which everything from the sunnah is, is ilm and nafia. She wanted this وَإِتِّبَاهُ بِالْعَمَلِ And she wanted to practice it. So, Ahabati Fillah, learn this dua. We're going to repeat it. Learn it. Simple dua. I just learned it. And put it into practice. Try to recite it often. Recite all these, these short duas if you're learning along with us. Recite these duas with great reward because there's supplications of the Prophet والسلام, so you're getting great ajr you're following the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam with that which is ma'thur and these are beautiful supplications which draw you nearer to your Lord and remind you and they help you with that humility the second benefit of this hadith a dua al jami' The second benefit of this hadith <coughs> is it gives us a supplication, a simple supplication, which is very short but very profound and powerful in its meaning and gives you the good in this life as well as the hereafter. Why? Because you're asking for afwa, wa maghfira. You're asking to be pardoned by your Lord. You're asking to be forgiven by your Lord. And may Allah forgive us, may Allah pardon us, may Allah guide us, ameen, ya rabbil alameen, and bless us with the saratullahi mustaqima, ameen. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasan wa fil akhirati hasan wa qina dhab al O Allah, Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana. Give us in this life hasana, that which is good. Wa fil akhirat hasana. And in the hereafter hasana, goodness. Wa qina adhabana. And protect us from the hellfire. This is what the mu'min desires. Because this is all ibadah. The third benefit of this hadith is it shows us أَفْضَلْ مَا نَدْعُوا بِهِ فِي لَيْلَةِ الْقَدْرِ اللَّهُمَّ إِنَّكَ عَفْوٌ تُحِبُّ عَفْوَ فَعْفُ عَنِّي لِأَنَّهُ هُوَ هَدِيَ النَّبِيَ مُحَمَّدْ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهُ وَسَلَّمُ وَلَوْ كَانَ خَيْرٍ مِنْ هَذَا الدُّعَى لَدَلَّ الْأُمَّةَ عَلَيْهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمُ The last benefit mentioned with this hadith is that this hadith or this supplication is the best supplication that you can make Laylatul Qadr. How do you know this? How do you know it's the best? You can make your own. I need a new house. I need more wives. I need a car. I need this. I need... And mentioning the last benefit of this hadith. أَفْضُوا مَا نَدْعُوا بِهِ فِي لَيْلَةِ الْقَدْرِ أَلَهُمَّ إِنَّكَ عَفْوًا تُحِبُّ عَفْوًا فَعْفُ عَنِّي لأنه هو هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم ولو كان خير من هذا الدعاء لدل الأمة عليه صلى الله عليه وسلم. The last benefit of this hadith that's mentioned is that it is the best supplication during the night of power. And it is اللهم إنك عفوا and meaning, O oh Allah, you are forgiving and you love forgiveness, so forgive me. And this is because it is the guidance of the Prophet, which is the best guidance. And the best speech is the book of Allah. It's the speech of Allah. 
And the best guidance is the guidance of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He's the best guidance of mankind because he was the last prophet alayhi salatu wasalam. So we follow whose sunnah? We follow the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's sunnah. Because we want Jannah. We want to follow his sunnah, we want to follow his guidance. And may Allah bless us to be min al mutamassikeen bi sunnah. From those who adhere to the sunnah firmly. And then he said, Wulaw kana khayrin min hadha al dua. And if there was a du'a which was better than this for the night of power, the Prophet ﷺ would have guided us to it. And this is the difference between Ahlul Sunnah wa Ahlul Bid'ah. Ahlul Sunnah sees that these supplications, these and the Sunnah, what is mentioned about the Prophet ﷺ is the best hadith, is the best guidance. The best guidance is that of Muhammad Whereas Ahl al-Bid'ah, they believe that their rai, their intellect often is better. Well, yeah, I know that's the sunnah, but I think this is better. Or I think this is, uh, you know, a comparable path. So this is the difference between Ahl al-Sunnah and Ahl al-Bid'ah. <coughs> And this is why we have to strive our best to follow the sunnah of the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam. Allahumma innaka afwan, tuhibbu afwa, fa'fu anni. Allahumma innaka afwan, tuhibbu afwa, fa'fu anni. Allahumma innaka afwan, tuhibbu afwa, fa'fu anni. O oh Allah, you are forgiving and you love forgiveness, so forgive me, for, forgive me, ruahu tirmidhi. This is in uh, Sahih Tirmidhi. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.